yo yo what's going on with y'all so i just wanted to share um what holy spirit had to say about my bride of christ tattoo because i got it it was com- i got it completed like at like 10 o'clock last night and so i woke up and i was like i really got the bride of tight christ tattoo you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm um, 22 I was like, what does the Lord think? Like, what is he thinking right now? Like, is he happy? Is he sad? Like, is what is he like? I shouldn't have done that. Like, what what is he thinking? <laughs> so as soon as I woke up, I opened up the Bible. And when I asked the Lord, I said, what do you think about my bride of Christ tattoo? So I opened up the Bible and I landed right to um, Sirach chapter nine, verses nine. And it reads, With a married woman, die not, recline not at a table to drink by her side. Least your heart be drawn to her, and you go down in blood to the grave. So one thing Holy Spirit revealed to me about this is, I'm not going to play about you. 111. (laughs) I am not playing about you. If somebody come around trying to play with you, I am not playing about you, okay? I was like, touche, Lord. I already know this. These is facts, okay? So this is I already know. So the second revelation is you have to be careful who you are eating and drinking with, like who you're, you know, spending your time with because these people will be, their hearts will be drawn to you. Because you are a daughter of God, because you are a bride of Christ, because I am with you, because you carry me in your spirit, because you're going to have the type of energy you have, because you're going to have the type of love you have, because you have the type of compassion that you have, because you are who you are in me, people's hearts will be drawn to you. So you have to be careful who you're spending time with, 211. Do not spend time with people who are in relationships or belong to other people. Marry people because their hearts will be drawn to you because of who you are and who you carry in you. Okay, so you have to be careful on who you spend your time with, who you're talking to, because these people, their hearts will be drawn to you. So be careful because you're going to attract people. Okay? So be careful. And another thing that he showed me in the fine print is, it reads, a man must avoid jealousy toward his own wife and familiarity toward all other women. So there could have been a um, a case where you had um, a spouse, a God-ordained spouse who was jealous of you in a sense that they felt like they didn't they didn't want to give to you or that you were coming to take from them or you or you were coming to take what they had and they didn't want to give to you they didn't want to um they didn't want to give to you and they were out being familiar and making themselves familiar with other women okay 333 so The father is saying this is to preserve the liberty and the dignity of you because you are his. Okay, so becoming his bride is preserving the liberty and the dignity of you because you are his. And he sees that someone was he is he is trying to avoid um, jealousy towards you from a man. Okay. So this is his way of protecting you from 409, from men who may be jealous of you, okay? Who feel like you are coming to take from them, okay? The father says you are, he is the one who is going to protect you. He is the one who is going to provide for you. And he is also the one who is not going to play about you, okay? He is not going to play about you. unjust unjust it also oh oh okay that was be not jealous of 
the wife of your bosom, lest you teach her to do evil against you. And then um, in fine print, it reads, unjust suspicions often engender hatred between husband and wife and may prompt a wife to commit those faults of which, therefore, she has been innocent. Okay, so, yeah, someone is that you may have had um, a God ordained spouse who was jealous of you or suspicious of you. And this caused hatred between you and your um, you and this person. It caused this person was suspicious of you. This person was jealous of you. So this is someone who didn't want to give to you. Um, and they felt like that you were seeing other people. 555. And this caused discord between you and this person because this is someone who didn't want to give to you. And they also felt like you were seeing other people. And this, therefore, can prompt the woman to do something that she was, therefore, innocent of. So for some, you may start dating because this person assumes that you're dating anyway you're suspicious that you're dating anyway and this is how it caused discord in your relationship um attack along with the fact that this person doesn't want to give to you this person doesn't want to share with you this person does not want to This person does not want... It's like this person don't want to be with you. I can't... I don't know. I, this person don't want to be with you. They don't want to do what the father is saying, yet they are accusing you of being with other people. But they don't want to do what they're supposed to do. They're jealous of you. They don't want to be with you. And they're accusing you of being with other people. But what else are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? If you weren't seeing other people, you're about to start seeing other people now. I don't know. Like, that's the way it's sounding. It's like, it's like, because the father is saying, be careful who you talk to, who you, um, who you eat with, who you drink with. Like he's a, a going to allow you to eat and drink with people, but he wants you to be careful because these people are going to be drawn to your heart. So he's telling you, be careful who you decide to eat that, who you decide to sit down and eat and drink with, because these people are going to be drawn to your heart. And if anybody play with you, I'm not playing with them. So be careful because, <laughs> because you know, you know, be careful who you eating and drinking with, who you decide to dine with, because these people are going to be drawn to you. And you know, I don't play about you. And if these people coming into your life, trying to play with you, then I'm gonna have to handle them. Okay. eight eleven. So the father wants you to be careful about those people that you are deciding to, you know, eat and drink with at this time go on dinner dates with at this time because your your heart is their heart is going to be drawn to you because of who you are and what you carry and there was somebody there was a man who was jealous of you and they didn't want to give to you and they taught you that what you are about to do is okay something that you were innocent of something that you weren't doing they taught you that it's okay to do this thing and basically the father is saying be careful just be careful who you eat and drink with because these people are going to be drawn to your heart and I'm not, and I'm not going to play about you. And that's just what this message is about. I can't say nothing else about it. I didn't know that's what it was going to be. I didn't know that's how it's going to go, but that's what it is. Peace y'all.